Before we go on to an example where we reiterate through an array, I'm going to talk about creating an array in another manner which we haven't yet seen before and that I'm going to use in the next example. Um, let's, let me show you. I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to call it my whoa, arrays 3. And check that box, finish. Okay. So in our class, we used to create an array. We would say something like int, and, th and then we put square brackets to designate that it was an array. We'd say my int array. That would be the array name equals new int array with a length of 3. And then we'd proceed to go my int array at index 0 equals 4, and then my int array at index 1 equals 3,324. 3, and I'm going to fix the spelling right there. And then we could s continue to say my int array at index 2 is equal to uh, I don't know 342 why not okay that's how we did the arrays in the previous examples now let me show you a different way to do arrays um, we start off the same we do int square brackets to indicate we're creating an int array and then we give it a name I'm just gonna call this one my array but instead of going equals to new int array of length 3 and then assigning the values to each of the indexes of the array I'm gonna go ahead and set, set up an array so that the values are in there already so what I'm gonna do right here is equals to and then I'm gonna put a set of curly brackets as well as a semicolon and inside those curly brackets I'm just gonna put in the values that I want my array to have so maybe I want my array to have 534 and I separate them with commas so 534 comma 121 654 and one so I'm gonna have an array of four elements length four and I'm gonna put in the values right off the bat rather than putting them in individually later so we can access them the exact same way it works just like any other array we go system dot out dot print line and in here we put my array at index and we put the index and what did I forget I forgot a u there we go now 534 is sitting at index 0 121 is at index 1 654 is at index 2 and 1 is at index 3 because remember we start counting at 0 so if I wanted to access this value I'd go to index number 2 and I'd print that out there we go and to show you that it works just like a regular array we can uh, take the length of it print line the length of my array or my array is and we just put plus sign right here and we put my array dot length there we go uh, proceed length of my array four elements long now this is just another way of initializing an array and setting values to each of the indexes right away instead of going through and doing it later. Now in the next example we'll go through an array and I'll show you how to reiterate through it with a for loop.